All the way luck. Not bad. Anyway, it's Friday. You know what that means? It's movie time. What did Bob watch for this weekend? Movies. Well, he watched a few of them. Some are good. Some are not too bad. And some one. Oh, I didn't like it. No. I'll probably throw it down the garbage chute. Anyway, we'll get on to that. But anyway, let's talk about the movies. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. I wrote them down. I gotta write them down. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta write things down. Can't remember everything. Alright, let's get on to it. Uh, I watched a movie. Uh, I think it was Crave TV. Sometimes I get them mixed up. <laughs> Netflix, Crave TV, Rogers. Well, Rogers is Crave TV. Anyway, I watched a movie about the Second War. I mean, Second. Start over again, Bob. Okay. I watched a movie about the First World War, the Big War, 1918, 1914 and 1918, if I'm correct, about a young British soldier joining up, you know, close to the front lines, wants to be in a, you know, company that he knows uh, somebody, you know, I think it was his sister's boyfriend and stuff. Anyway, there's one gentleman there, I think it's a captain or a lieutenant, something, drinks a lot, right? Nerves, right? And he drinks a lot. You know, it's a pancake, you have something to drink. Anyway, this is also a remake from the 1930 movie, which was actually 12 years after the uh, First World War ended. So this is a remake. Uh, I have never seen the first the movie. Uh, it's on YouTube, if anybody watch, you know, wants to watch it. I haven't watched it yet, I just found out it's on there. But anyway, so it's uh, uh, Sam uh, uh, Draftlin, Draft Craftlin, stars in it. Well, other people are in it, but sometimes I don't mention who stars in the movies because I don't want want these videos to be long. The main thing about these videos is just the movies that I watched this week. That's the general idea. So uh, <clears throat> uh, a young British uh, soldier joins up. He's probably freaking. He's got to be like 20 years old. Eh? He's he's. Soldiers are not that old. Their average age of a soldier is 18, 20, 22 years old, right? And then you start getting older when you're 28 and, you know, stuff like that. That's old but to be a soldier. So anyway, very good story. You know, a little bit of action in it. Not much, not, you know, it's not that much action in it. Uh, but uh, there is a bit here and there, right? One scene was when they had to um, send a squad out, 10 guys, you know, in a... You know, captain to go um, get a soldier, a German soldier from, you know, across the, the other the trench, across the way there, right? Which is like the size of a football field, you know? You're here and they're over there. So they sneak out and try and go steal a soldier or, you know, get him, take him back to the line, get some information from the guy. You know, so the bullets are flying. Of course, some people don't come back, right? And the whole movie's uh, very, very good. I, I liked it. I give it an 8 out of 10. So if you haven't seen The Journey's End and you kind of like war movies, it, it is a war movie. So, I mean, and it's not too bad. You don't see too much bad stuff happening. You know, people getting blown up and messes and stuff. No, there's none of that. So I liked it. I give it an 8, 8 out of 10 for Journey's End. I liked it. It's a British, the British line in the First World War, yeah. British soldiers. And then on Netflix, I'm pretty sure it was Netflix, I watched The Cloverfield Paradox. That's the third movie in this series, uh, uh, The Cloverfield movies. This is the one where they're out, out in space, right? And they're, you know, they're trying to save uh, the Earth from uh, all these things that are happening to the Earth. They were, you know, destruction and different things, you know, food and all these different, all these bad things happen to the Earth. This movie is a pretty interesting movie. You got to follow along with it and stuff like that. It's, sometimes it gets a little hard to understand, and it's like an alternate universe, alternate universes, right? People, <clears throat> they're in this universe, right? That are in the other universe, and yeah. So it's, it's, I've seen all three movies, and I kind of understand what's going on. But every once in a while, it's like you kind of go, you know, like put your eyebrows up and go. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's a good movie. I give it a seven. Seven's all right. Like good special effects, good acting. It's all right. 
And the other one I watched on, uh, I watched another one on uh, <laughs> Crave TV and it's Deadpool. You know Deadpool? Yeah. I watched that. I got to give it a spin TV uh, great. I just watched it the other night, a couple of nights ago, so Deadpool. Yeah. You had, to, you had to pay attention and listen very closely to all these jokes and stuff like that, right, that he says. One-liners and things like that, right? So, yeah, I thought it was very good. I liked it. And I uh, thought it was very... I liked it. It was good. It was a laugh, right? So, um, I don't want to tell you too much about it because people haven't seen Deadpool, but I would, would imagine a lot of people have seen, seen Deadpool before I have because I just watched it, so... I thought it was fun, all the scenes. There's only one part in the movie that I wasn't crazy over that I didn't really like, and it's all sentimental me, right? They had to go and kill his girlfriend and stuff, right, you know? And stuff like that. So I wasn't too uh, thrilled over that, right? But I didn't like that. I, th I thought, no, I don't know what I thought, but I, I didn't like it when they killed her off. I, I, I thought, that was that, well, I didn't think that was going to happen, but... Uh, Leslie Algums is in it still, and she's the blind lady that he lives with, so she's a riot. So, Deadpool, I give it an eight. It's, it's a very good movie. I liked it. I thought it gets an eight. All right, and the other one I watched on um, Grave TV, I think, was uh, was the one called The Domestics, uh, starring Kate Bosworth. Uh, two two younger people. It's one of those end of the world movies, right? The domestics. There's a lot of Crazy people in you know all around the place with guns and axes and shooting people, killing people, you know, doing everything for food or money, and they're trying to get from one place where they are, traveling through you know highways and stuff in different places where all these people are called different names for what they are, gangs, I guess, and that right. So she's a little um, what's that word? She's a little. Shy? At the beginning of the movie, she's not sure. But as the movie progresses, she gets a little wild, right? So, yeah. So it's not a bad movie, The Domestics. So they have to leave where they are. They, she wants to go to uh, Oklahoma, I think, to go see her parents. Her parents and uh, are in Oklahoma. So she's leaving where they are to head to Oklahoma. So it's a ride from there to get to Oklahoma and all the things that happened in between then. So it was all right. Give it a seven. It's worth a seven. It's worth a, uh, you know, like a watch. You can watch it. So that's okay. So that's a seven. The other one I watched uh, was on, uh, you know, Crave TV also. Rogers here in Toronto, Canada. It's uh, Goodbye, Christopher Robin. I really like that movie. Um, A.A. Melanie. Melanie, that's how do you pronounce his name. You know, it's about uh, Christopher Robin's... Uh, uh, his son, his uh, relationship <coughs> with uh, Christopher, and how the stories of Winnie the Pooh came about, and things that happened to Christopher Robin, uh, who was an inspiration for the Winnie the Pooh, and some of his toys that he had, you know, he played with them when he was a kid, right? So, and of course the bear, right? Winnipeg, right? Winnie the Pooh. So I thought this was very good. And uh, <coughs> what happens to your son as you're getting popular and your son's getting popular. Sometimes your son don't like it, you know. Sometimes the kids don't like it. They, they rather just stay home and play in their backyard and, you know, fly kites and stuff. So anyway, this was a very interesting movie. I liked it. Goodbye, Christopher Robin. <coughs> Excuse me again. And that was... Gets an 8. 8 out of 10. Let's see, let's see what else I watched. <clears throat> there I go again, making videos and coughing. My Fair Lady, 1964, best picture. I think this is where the, you know, my Pretty Woman, I think it was, what was Pretty Woman, 1990, basically those kind of movies. Uh, get the idea from this in a roundabout way. But this is pretty good. Uh, Audrey Hepburn, Rex Harrison. Best picture. What is it, eight Academy Awards? This one big? Yep. It's a couple old guys make a bet. <coughs> Some girl selling flowers on the corner and they make a bet. They they're going to turn her into a, 
a young lady with with style and grace and be able to talk properly and all that stuff and they take her to different places and you know and, and show her off and and they want to see if she can pass as a as a lady like a you know a person that's proper and stuff like that so this is a very very enjoyable movie I liked it I, I, I like I like Audrey Hepburn so Audrey Hepburn did make a couple of movies that kind of that's another topic, I guess. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. Audrey, yeah, Audrey Hepburn, you know, Ray Milan and Humphrey Bogart, that movie. Well, I wasn't too thrilled over that one, but that's a different story. So this is My Fair Lady. I give it a big 8 out of 10. I liked it, and that's it for My Fair Lady. So, yeah. <coughs> and... Are you ready for this one? I'm sorry, people. If anybody liked this movie, I apologize right off the snapper here, right off the bat. But this movie, The Evil Dead, director Sam Raimi, you know, the dead guy, and what's his name, Nash or Ash or um, Bruce Campbell, this movie, I didn't like this movie. No, I didn't like it, I didn't care for it. No. I mean, you know, sometimes you make movies and there's like, how would you say it? Dumb people in a movie? You know the story. Hey, don't go down there. And what happens, right? Or, or don't answer the phone. And what does she do, right? Don't answer the phone. Or you're peeking out the window and, I know you're out there. And what does she do? She goes out and looks. You know, you think she's going out across the street like 10 feet. No, she, go, well, she goes up like a mile down. She goes a mile into the woods looking for somebody. What are you, stupid? Right? So this movie's, well, it's just, you know, open up the trap door floor and all that. Yeah, let's go down there. Well, you know, it's stuff like that. Let's go to a cabin in the woods. Yeah, we should have a lot of fun. It doesn't cost us a lot of money, right? So let's go have sex, get drunk, and have a good time. So, yeah, this movie stinks. I don't even rate this movie. This movie's going down the hallway and gets thrown down the chute. The garbage chute. So that's it for that one. Oh, I, and I, uh, I had a good day uh, the other day. I was watching In, right? And uh, he was talking about the rink with Charlie Chaplin. So I went, hey. So what did I do? I watched the rink. Yeah, Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. He roller skates around this rink, in this rink. That's a great time. Charlie Chaplin movie. Yeah, it's silent. From what, 1916 or something like that? Mm, Charlie Chaplin movie. You gotta love Charlie Chaplin movies. It's hilarious. He's hilarious. But anyway, it's on this set, right? Box set. Charlie. The Little Tramp Charlie Chaplin collection. This is the one I got, you know, with a bunch of his stuff on it. 15 bucks down at Danforth and Jones, if anybody knows what that is. So yeah, so I watched The Rink. Thanks, in. For reminding me that I dug it out of the shelf over there and I watched the rink. That's how I know. So yeah. So I really liked it. I liked the rink. Charlie Chaplin. I give it an eight. It's a short movie. What is it? 35 minutes or something? You know, give or take a minute. But anyway, that's it. Yeah. So there you go. The rink. Charlie Chaplin. Eight out of ten. And that's the movies I watched this week. I'll probably watch some more next week. Yeah. So it's tomorrow Saturday. It's a you know day with Rick. We're gonna watch a couple movies. Don't know what we're watching yet, but you know we'll watch something. You know, have a pizza and all that regular stuff. And today in Toronto, it's cold here. It was snowing, and you know it didn't snow that long. It it come along and snow a bit, right, and blow away, and come back again, snow a bit, and go away, and cold, and it hasn't rained yet, as far as I know. The rain hasn't come. It said it was gonna rain, but it hasn't rained yet, so. Anyway, movie lovers, keep watching those movies, and I'll see you next Friday. Have a good weekend.